In this video, we're going to talk about how to construct an angle bisector. And remember, an angle bisector is a ray or a line that will cut an angle in half. So the steps of this are not too bad. What you do first is you stick the pointy end of your compass uh, onto the vertex of the angle you are trying to bisect. And you swing an arc so that it intersects uh, both sides of the angle, and remember the rays make up the sides. I didn't swing the entire arc, I just marked the intersection points uh, between the arc and the sides of the angle, because that's what I really need. Um, and now, using pretty much any radius that I could fit on my paper, um, I'm going to swing an arc from each of these intersection points. So I'm going to swing an arc from this intersection point, shrink, and I'm going to swing an arc from this intersection point, shrink, and where they intersect is what I'm interested in. So I can adjust my compass if I want to, um, and I'm going to rotate this slightly um, to make it easier to construct. So I'm going to put the point on the intersection, and I'm going to swing an arc, and I'm going to put the other point on the intersection, and I'm going to swing an arc. And where these two points, or these two arcs intersect, is the point that I'm interested in. Because that point and that point on the vertex, if I connect them, I will get my angle bisector. And that is how I bisect an angle. So of course, after I do these constructions, I want to see what uh, is going on. So I have a point P on the uh, bisector of angle A, right? I see, you see the construction marks. And I want to know what is true about the distances uh, from P to the sides of A. And if you remember from shortest distance, the when I say the distances from a point to uh, a line segment or array, I'm looking for the perpendicular distances. And so uh, what I could do is I could go ahead and construct these uh, perpendicular distances, right? If you remember how to do that from the shortest distance video, um, you have to put your compass on the point and you need to choose a radius on your compass that when you st strike your arc, you will intersect the point twice. And then your job from there is to construct the perpendicular bisector of the line segment created by those two intersections, right? And hopefully it'll fit on the paper. Oh, it'll be in the writing though. So I strike an arc there. And I'm going to strike my other arc there. And I am interested in connecting point P with that intersection. And that gives me a right angle. And then, of course, I need to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to take my compass and I need to swing an arc that intersects the side of the angle twice. And then I need to create the perpendicular bisector of the line segment created by those two points. And I only need to swing the arc uh, that goes kind of below the point P, um, because remember, I need two points to form uh, a line. And so this, these two intersecting arcs down here give me the second point that I need to create this perpendicular distance. 
right? And if I want to know what's special about these two distances, I can of course use my compass to measure these lengths. And I believe, oh, they are the same. So that means that any point on a perpendicular bisector of an angle is going to be equidistant from both sides of that angle, which sounds like a conjecture to me, which it is, conjecture C8, the angle bisector conjecture. It says if a point is on the bisector of an angle, then the point is equidistant from both sides of the angle. Now we are going to prove this conjecture using deductive reasoning a little bit later on. Um, I'll give you a hint right now. Uh, it's going to be about uh, triangles.